Hello, I'm KenCoffee55, and this is Pokemon Crystal. I do that, I'm going too far that way, that way even, uh, because it's not actually Crystal. I stumbled across this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've completed the entirety of it myself. Uh, it's basically, I don't know if anyone's ever seen them, uh, there's the Space World Gold Beta Sprites. Um, and that's what this crystal is. It's got the Beta Sprites. It's got a lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon we know and love missing because they weren't in the Beta. Um, but it's got the Beta Pokemon in it instead. And i gonna admit, I wish all of those Pokemon had been created because they are all amazing. So I figured, instead of doing this one for stream, I'd do this one on here as a YouTube Let's Play and keep my regular crystal. Well, I'll carry on with that on Twitch at some point. But, um, yeah, no. So let's just go straight into this. Um, as I say, I absolutely enjoyed this so much when I first played it a couple of weeks ago. Um, ah, now this. Prototype is basically... Uh, the Pokemon's types, uh, an example would be dark type used to be weak to normal types. So what they did for this was when they redid this ROM, there's not actually much of a difference, but, um, but anyway, when they did this ROM, they added the ability to be able to play the game with the prototype types or the types that we know now and how they work. I played with the prototypes before, so... Sure, yeah, stuff it. We'll play prototypes. Am I a boy or a girl? Um, I am boy. I think. I am man. Definitely not man. It is 20 past two. <laughs> Yikes, I overslept. Same. Don't worry, Oak. We all oversleep. You know this, I really, really enjoyed this. It's, uh, it's definitely one of my favourite ROM hacks. I mean, I'm not sure if you could call it a ROM hack because there's not actually much difference. I mean, there's different Pokemon. The place, the game, everything like that is exactly the same. But it's just the Pokemon that are different. They've added a couple of little extras as well, which we'll see at some point. Yes, I'm putting my name as all capitals because these old games are beautiful for all capitals. Everyone else's names are in capitals. I don't like how it looks sort of out of place if you lowercase your name. And uh, like all the gym leaders and such have have capital names. It's, it's a bit weird. Give me my phone, woman. I'm kidding. I love my mom, really. Here you go. He's a pocket gear. Ow. Must have a spot on my face or something. Oh, we can't see that on the camera. I just, I just carry on playing like this. Ha oh, oh. ha. Um, it is. I think it's Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday. Do you know how to use the phone? I think so. Om nom nom. Oh no, that's not how you use a phone. Oh. Oops. I thought it was a cookie, okay? Hello. There you are! I am. I am here. Um, writing a paper that he wants to present, present, present at a conference. So, we're gonna do all this work for him, and he's gonna write a paper on it. Are we coming to the conference too? Actually, not gonna joke, I really wish they'd left some kind of little event like that in the game. You know, you complete the decks, or you do whatever it is you need to do for him. Um, and then you go off and get like, I don't know, a Master Ball or something as a reward for uh, for helping, for aiding him in his uh, stuff, like a second one. Um, okay, so here's where it gets weird. Chikorita, as you can see, just underneath its leaf, on the right side, it's got a little lump by the looks of it. I'm not sure what that lump is. So that's leaf. 
I started with Leaf on my own. Normally I'd go for Chikorita, because I absolutely love Chikorita. But I'm not gonna this time. I completely drowned that out, so I will try that again. Sorry. That's Cruise. That is Beta Totodile. And that is Flambe. That is Beta Cyndaquil. I never, ever, ever do this. And I mean never. I don't ever usually take the fire type. One exception, Fennekin. Because I love Fennekin. I'm lying again. Two exceptions, Score Bunny. I keep forgetting about Score Bunny. I'm taking Flambe. I'm not going to give a nickname to my Pokemon on this playthrough because their names are good enough. The beta names are beautiful. I love them. There is a Pokemon later on that I want. Uh, it's to the left of Ecrutique. Hopefully we can find one. But it's, it's instantly my new favourite beta Pokemon. I don't even know why, I just love it. Because my favourite types, my favourite Pokemon types are Poison and Fairy. Uh, but Grass and Ghost are very, very close third and fourth. And this beta Pokemon is a Ghost type, which this game was severely lack uh, lacking. There's two... I think two ghost types that you could get in the game, in proper Gold, Silver and Crystal, that being Ghastly in its evolution line, and Mischievous, that was it. And this is the cutest grass type I've ever seen. See, it just, it's designs like this, I really wish they hadn't changed Hot Pip, because it's so cute. When I get balls, I'll be catching one of these, because it's, it's just adorable. I do happen to know as well, sorry I've got verbal diarrhea today. But, I do happen to know, in the beta, um, Left Mew has Absorb, and again, I really wish they'd kept that in for, for Hot Pip that we have now, because, because, I know, just Absorb at the start of the game for a Hot Pip, I mean, it's already a disadvantage with the first gym being a, a flying type, so anything to help it would be great. Something else I need to point out. I will shut up in a minute. Um, well not shut up, but I will stop nagging. The sprites on this have been taken from the beta 2. Well no, the sprites have been recoloured to their beta sprites colouring. So as you can tell, the ratit is not purple. It's more of a pink colour. That's because that's the colour it would have been. On the beta, on the Space World Gold beta. Again, kind of wish they'd kept the, uh, the colourings. Baby Meowth definitely should have had that in the in, in, in the final game. Because there's lots of baby Pokemon as well, I feel like, should have existed. Like, there's a baby Doe Duo, there's baby Meowth, there's baby Vulpix, baby Growlithe. I just, I just love them all. They're brilliant. I feel like maybe, maybe in the future they could potentially do something with these Pokemon. It would definitely be a welcome addition, I think. Up that way you get baby Vulpix, which we'll see shortly. Once I can catch stuff, I'll go get one. Because, you know, Vulpix, who wouldn't? Gotta love coffee. Do you know, actually, I absolutely love my mug. It's got a camper van on it, it's the best thing ever. You've probably noticed, actually, my mugs change every single video. I have about 300 bajillion mugs downstairs, honest to God.
I just bounced on a Pokemon's face. I bounced on a Meowsy face. Meowsy? Meowsy? Might be Meowsy, actually. Either way, it's cute. Gonna be honest, there's a speed up button, and I am resisting the urge right now to click it. Because <laughs> whenever I play games on ROM like this, I usually do the speed up button so I can go through them quickly. So, oh, I was gonna do an example, but I don't know, I feel like I need to play this properly. This is the sea. As you can see, some Pokemon are only found in water. Here, it's my house. Well, old man, please. <laughs> I'm very mobile, by the way. I apologize. I like moving around. A very mobile sort of person. Can't sit still. If I sit still, there's something wrong with me. I'm just kidding. Give me all the berries. Also, I apologise if the keyboard is really loud. It's supposed to be like a soft touch, quiet keyboard, but it really isn't. I need a new one. I'll be getting a new one at some point soon. I say some point soon. At some point. Pidgey. handed to me by a Pidgey. I like Pidgey, I've got nostalgia for Pidgey, but it's really not the best flying type, especially in these games. I mean, I feel like it's, it got a lot better in Gen 6 when it got its Mega, when it got its Mega Evolution. Um, but even then, I mean, it's a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong, I do like Pidgey, but every time I've used one, I found it less than ideal. I don't know. I've never really got on with them. Doesn't mean I don't like it. I do like it. It's a good design. It's a... I like all the designs of Pokemon. I don't think there's any Pokemon I can say I don't like it. A mystery egg. daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Prof. L. Pokemon Evolution. Prof. L is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognises that. Pokédex. Got to go to Golden Road for my, my usual radio show. You lie, old man. We all know that show's pre-recorded. What phone call? It's a disaster. I'm not that bad, am I?
Please get back here now. Well, he sounds annoyed. Or flustered. Flustered is the word I was looking for, not annoyed. Annoyed. I don't speak the good England. are actually kind of useful in this game. I mean, they're useful in all the games as well. But the start of this game. Did you call me a wimp? This bitch just called me a wimp. I'm going to kick your A55. My attack's gonna miss. Fair enough. God damn, Totodile's good. Sorry, Cruise. Cruise is good. Catchy music in it, Gen 2. Then again, most Pokemon music is quite catchy. So. Level up. Triple question mark was defeated. Oh my god, I forgot. If you push B, hold down B, you can run. I've been walking the whole time. I completely forgot you could run. It's because normally you can't run in the old uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 games, but they made it so you could run in the Gen 2 in this version. Whoops. Could have done that a whole lot quicker. What do we call our rival? Steve. I don't know why, just Steve. Steve, Bob or John. Or all three. Prof Oak gave you a Pokedex? Is that true? No, I'm lying. Hi, I'm Kenko. I'm ten years old and I lie. I always used to misread that as a kid. I used to think it said violent city. You know, because there's a gym there and you have to fight them. So you're being violent. Young, my, my young brain was a weird place. I don't want you to teach me how to catch Pokemon. I've been playing for... Hmm, about 22 years. I mean, I was born when Pokemon came out. Um, so... I haven't been playing since I was born, obviously, because, you know, being a baby, you can't keep hold the Game Boy and play it and know what you're doing. Um, but I've been playing for as long as I can remember. I did start with Gen 1, I started with a copy of Pokemon Red. Or Blue. I have both now. I think it was a copy of Pokemon Red. I'm sure it was a copy of Pokemon Red. Either way, I still have my Brick Game Boy. 
It's one of those, it still works as well. It's one of those things that's never going anywhere. Let's see if we can find Bibby Vulpix. And I realise there'll be two fire types on the team. I'm probably not keeping the Baby Vulpix. I'm going to catch it just so I can... There it is. Trifox. It's so cute. I'm going to catch it just so you can all see. It's so cute though. Like, I really wish we'd got... Because uh, even the, po the Pokedex even references Baby Vulpix. When it's a baby, it only has one tail that then splits into six. I really wish they'd kept it in. Oops. Fox Pup. Ancient Kanto myth says that Trifox are born from the sun's reflection in lakes on the summer solstice. That sounds magical as fuck, not gonna lie. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? A Geodude. With no pupils, I always thought Geodude's sprite on this was really creepy, because he's not got eyes. They're just white. Before I wrap this episode up, there is another Pokemon that I want to catch that is staying on the team. Ooh. That's the one I'm looking for. That and a potion. Perfectly balanced. I think it was on this route. I think. That's a Pidgey. We don't want the Pidgey. It's a bird that we're going for, though. A sort of wingless bird. But well, it doesn't look like it's got wings, anyway. Route. I can't remember now. I mean, I only played it a couple of weeks ago and I can't remember. There it is. I have no idea how to say its name. I guess you could say I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that was really bad. Um, but no, this Baby Doduo. And I used it. I only used it for half the playthrough that I did on my other one. That I did myself. And I regret it so much because it's really strong. Really strong. Even as a baby. Um, so I'm going to catch this. And we're going to use it this time. This is our flying type. Baby do duo, please. Oh my god, if you look at its name it says do uno. Uno! The game that destroys friendships. I love Uno. I, uh, I play it quite a lot physically with my friends. And uh, the rage that happens is absolutely beautiful. It's just beautiful. So, Dono, the triplet Pokemon. Though always seen in threes, people are still unsure whether this is a single Pokemon rather than three. I'm going to say it's a triplet Pokemon. There's three in one nest. So yeah, if we look at its stats really quickly. For a baby Pokemon at level four, that attack and that speed are really good, I'd say. At level four. It's, uh, it's quite a scary Pokemon, I actually don't know. And then, I can't remember what level it evolves. It evolves quite early on. Um, and then obviously it evolves later on into Dodrio after Dodrio at about level 30. I think. As I say, it's been a... Uh, I used one a couple of weeks ago, but my memory's quite patchy. Anyway, I am going to wrap things up there, I'm afraid. Um, as always, Thank you for watching the video, 
and if you liked it feel free to leave a like and if you like what I'm doing feel free to subscribe. I'm probably going to be playing this for the duration of time. Um, I might do more Pokemon uploads because I'm going through a bit of a bit of a phase personally at the moment where I want to play stuff but I don't know what to play and usually when I end up like that I end up playing a lot of Pokemon. So if I'm going to end up playing a lot of Pokemon I might as well just upload it onto here. Um, again as with the previous video I do have my Switch's friend code in the description. Uh, I do a lot of Pokemon raids on Sword and Shield at the moment and I'm always looking for battles to be with people so feel free to add it and follow me elsewhere just drop me a message say I've added your switch friend code uh, I'd like to battle or I'd like to join raids and we'll go from there but anyway as I said thank you for watching and I will see you all again soon goodbye <laughs>